If you would like to see this episode before my reaction, head on over to roostreet.com and click on start your free trial. So you can become a first member and you can get all the benefits of becoming a first member or you can scroll to the bottom and click on free membership. This will make an account on the website which you can see episodes one week before they hit YouTube and if you become a, become a first member you can see episodes the day of release. So thanks for watching and enjoy the reaction. Well, okay, back everybody <laughs> to chapter 7 of Ruby, the day before Christmas, for me anyways. Um, I'm super, super, super excited to see what this episode's going to be about. Um, I'm sure it's going to have Tyrion fight in it, but I'm wondering if it's going to have the full fight in it, or they're going to break it up into pieces, or they're going to skip around a bit. Um, I don't know. I just know the thumbnail had Crow in it. Of course, we know Crow's there. Um, and the title of the episode... What's it called again? It's called Punished. Um, so, I mean, that could literally be a, <laughs> an assortment of things. Um, so I'm super excited to see what this has to offer. So, without further ado, <laughs> I'm just going to jump right into it while I'm talking about it. Um, my... I just a little bit on my back. <laughs> I don't know, that's too loud now. Okay. okay. So this episode is actually kind of out of nowhere because we're, we're technically supposed to have a break between the mid-season finale of chapter 6 and chapter 7. Uh, because holidays and like... New Year's Eve and uh, yeah, New, New Year's and Christmas and all stuff. We're supposed to take a break, but this is new because we're not supposed to. We're not. <laughs> it feels new because we're not supposed to have chapter seven yet. But all of a sudden we did. Um, so whether we're, we're taking a break after chapter seven, I'm not sure. I'm just super excited to see what's going to happen here. Oh my god! It's also super early for me to get, again. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. For me, it's really early. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, Oscar. Oscar, supper's almost ready. What are we having? Doesn't matter, you're eating it. <laughs> I never agreed to these terms. It's part of the living under my roof contract. Read the fine print and come wash up. All right. What is it? That's an ant. It's aunt. We have to leave. Oscar. Oh. Oscar. I've decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. I understand how you're feeling. I went through the same panic and confusion. Interesting. Okay. So is the theory right and he's like... It's not real. It's not the real. old man. It's not real. Or a different legend. I can assure you, you were perfectly sane. I'm talking to a voice in my head. I didn't say you were normal. I said you were sane. <laughs> There's quite a significant Shut difference. Shut up! You think this is funny? It's not. No, it's for real You're serious. In complete agreement on that matter, I promise you. Believe me, I wish this weren't the case. But as I've told you, our aura, our souls, are combined. Interesting. I'm done listening to you. I wonder how that happened. Have you ever been to Haven? I told you <laughs> I'm not going, and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe the Headmaster's office? No, why would I know that? I've never seen... Try. Right now. So he could, so Oscar can tap into Ozpin's memories? It's probably, it's, it's Sodom colored, with a large mahogany desk. Where is he? There's a small table and chairs in the corner for guests, with a tea set that, 
I... I gave him. Why did I say that? Why do I know that? Why did I say that? Because I helped build that school. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. Is it the tower as well? If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. I'm certain you could find a picture in one of them. That... that's right. I must have seen it in a picture. Oscar. Stop talking to me! I have a grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. This is super interesting. I'm like trying not to talk because I'm like... to anything. No, you didn't. And neither did I at first. But you do have an opportunity. For what? Greatness, hopefully. Greatness in knowing that when the world needed help, you were the one to reach out your hand. It won't come without hardship, without sacrifice. But I know you don't want to live the rest of your life working as a farmhand in Misrule. So you just decided to read my thoughts? I... well... They're our thoughts, now. Uh, get out of my head! Oscar! Supper time! I better see clean hands. Interesting. So Austin's just like a collection of like... Memories from like... Long past. <laughs> unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea what your stunt cost us? I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Our reputation. Our... Our... Just run away. He's not your... He's not... Well, I mean, he's he is probably your I real dad, but... Leave. He's not a proper she. I beg your pardon? I said I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. Young lady, I Good. don't give a damn about what you want. This isn't about you. This is about the Schnee family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. Exactly. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> this behavior of yours is incredibly disappointing. Sure you couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. You think running off like your sister is going to make the Schnee name stronger? You're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. I'm not siding with anyone. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. The Schnee family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. And Daddy. I'll do it as a huntress. No, you won't. Gonna lock You're her away. not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the manor grounds unless I specifically allow it. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble, until you and I come to an agreement on your future. Uh -huh. What? Your <clears throat> presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full Parent. attention you require, starting by keeping you where I can see you. I'm sure the mom. You was, can't just keep me from leaving. Winter, er, winter and wife. <laughs> I can, and the staff here will make sure of it. So now I'm just your prisoner? You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. What? Excuse me? Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of Beacon was too much for you. Which is why you've generously revoked your claim to the company and its earnings. Wow. Passed them on to your brother, Whitley. So he's disowning her, basically. It's time to wake up and face reality. 
It's not reality. <laughs> Just look. Of course, he was listening. Break out! Just break out of the <laughs> of the whole the whole castle, whole kingdom. Yes, sister? Did you know about this? About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. Yep. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime, People are, then I, I suppose I'm guilty. The cool theory about him actually going to take over this and just kind of be like killing his dad. This to happen. It's foolish not to do as father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Schnee family name is in good hands. Uh-huh. <laughs> God damn it. Talk to your mom. Where's your mom at? Where's your butler, butler Klein? I bet he'll help you out. Oh, is this from the opening? She could like clear out a bunch of space so she can practice summoning. Maybe? Alright. Nice. She has up in right there with her. <laughs> Got some like dust cartridges, which is awesome. <laughs> yep, she's definitely gonna try. Okay, here we go! Yes! <laughs> As I live and breathe, Crow Bronwyn. So he does A know true him. huntsman has entered the fray. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's weird. <laughs> Look, pal, I'm not sure who you are. He is weird. But you need to leave my niece alone. <laughs> Why, friend, my name is Tyrion. And I'm afraid that is not possible. My assignment from her grace was to retrieve this young girl. So that is what I must do. One does not upset the queen. He's acting Queen? a little different. Salem. Who? <laughs> I think we've had enough talk now, don't you? The queen. The Who goddess. Took the words right <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so they're both quick, but I think Kyrie might be quicker, but I think Crow's got some... <laughs> Wow! <laughs> 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 it's also a gun. <laughs> Crow Bronwyn. I think he's gonna get the way. <laughs> Don't come closer! Fine. Leave it to him, yeah. Sniper. Yep. <laughs> Come on, you're time it perfectly. I wonder when you throw them bring up the sight. Okay. Oh, snap! <laughs> she missed, and he was standing still. <laughs> Oh damn! <laughs> Fist fighting! <laughs> Holy crap, bro! Oh my god! I just walked through his weapon. <laughs> you got beat like pretty hard by someone with just his fist. Just like. <laughs> oh crap, I went back to the first. I was hoping to see more fight action, but... That was nice. Okay, you're in 
near it. It's a bad idea to get close. Be already out. <laughs> and I'm on the ground. Throwing it up again. <laughs> nice! Oh, there's an aura kind of like the TV. Uh, a new song, too. Ruby! Did you wish to be taken? No, but I won't stand by and watch someone get hurt! Come on, Crow and Ruby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Crow, go fight! The devil fight for you. Nice! Ruby! What did I say? Get back! This is my fight, too! No, it's not that! It's <laughs> Oh crap. So I wonder if that means he got stung by it. <laughs> Probably means he got stung by that. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Try to block it all now. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. That means, yeah, Crow. Are you okay? Please be okay. Please be okay. Don't die. Help me find. He just grazed me. With poison? Who was that guy? How did you get here? Why are people after Ruby? All valid questions, but let him rest. What's going on? What's your favorite fairy tale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically telling about um, <laughs> the maidens and stuff. Uh, that was uh, actually uh, I like that ending. Um, Crow and Ruby teaming up to fight Tyrion. Um, and getting, he, Tyrion getting the upper hand because, because they, you know, kept, um, butting heads in a way, they kept, like, looking at each other and thing, like, Ruby and Ruby and Crow, um, and then having, uh, uh, Tyrion get the upper hand because they did that, and then Ruby getting the upper hand because of what Tyrion did kind of thing, so it was just kind of like a, um, a back and forth there, um, but I liked that a lot, that was, that was a cool episode. Um, the whole Weiss thing was kind of annoying, though. I mean, for right, rightly so, because like she, like it wasn't. It's not her fault at all that her father's a dick. Um, Oscar, Oscar bit was awesome, awesome to 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 watch. So basically, um, my thoughts on him. Oh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be like jumping ahead here soon to where, like when I watch this a few more times. But um, uh, yeah, Oscar and Ozpin basically are one now. Um, so I wonder if it, I feel like it's not the, the old man, uh, legend. I feel like it, it, it might be a whole other legend that no one's ever thought about yet. Um, that's happening here because it's, it's, it's sort of, sort of like, um, it's, it's sort of like, um, F, like one person has all this power and like, uh, abilities and you know knowledge and everything and then once he dies he passes that on to somebody else and then he lives his life with all that knowledge all that continued knowledge and then he dies and he passes on all that knowledge to somebody else and so on and so forth so forth all throughout time kind of thing and I think Oscar is the newest addition to the Ozpin um, lineage <laughs> it's not lineage because I'm sure he's not related whatsoever um, but I wonder if it is like that like i'm i'm I, the way i said it just now it sounds a lot like you know the old man kind of passing down his power and everything but i don't think it is because up until this point we've never seen ozpin use magic um we've seen him use bubbles and stuff but that's only my theory on that is his staff allowed him to do that um <clears throat> and like the time manipulation and 
that kind of thing. I'm not that time that manipulation, but it made him really quick. His his like fighting style when he's fighting um, uh, Cinder. So I don't know. It could be that he's the the old man kind of lineage, kind of like in the way the maidens are. But like, there's only one guy, and then once he dies, he passes on his power and everything to another guy. Just like the maidens, how they're women, and then when they die, they pass it on to another girl, or woman, woman, whatever. Um, so it could be that, but I have a feeling it might be a whole other legend that no one's ever conceived of yet. Um, so I'm holding hope on that. <laughs> I want more legends. More legends are awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, so the whole Weiss thing was, was annoying. <clears throat> but it kind of shows Weiss's determination to... Um, uh, make things right, I guess, is the right right term. Like, she's got to, like, fight to keep the family name and everything. And her father basically disowns her, which is, like, super freaking hardcore. Um, so even Papa Schnee doesn't like Winter, like, leaving. Um, so that's interesting. Even though she's, like, near him, potentially, with, like, the whole Academy and everything. Like, Atlas Academy. Um even though she's there most of the time, and off on jobs and stuff too for Iron what I'm sure, but um, if, even though she's like a huntress, <clears throat> he, in his mind, she left, kind of thing. Um, so I'm sure that's what he's thinking about uh, Weiss. Which, if he, he, if he wants to disown her, then, I don't know, it, it, it would have been easier for him to just kick her out on her own, and like, just dishonor that way kind of thing um but keeping her in the kingdom like hidden away from like life and and disowning her um just seems like for it, to for him it's bad because was weiss is going to be like gonna like hardcore get used to summoning um like the opening of the of of, of Ruby uh, that we've seen, uh, Weiss like ha it's like a big open room, um, and she's using the or she's trying to summon like a you know a big circle kind of thing, potentially maybe the guardian that she fought in the trailer, um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god! So I'm super excited to see what happens next. I think we're gonna be jumping back between. Maybe Yang next, or Blake. Blake or Yang, I think, next will definitely be a thing. Um, that's a cool shot, too. <clears throat> and then, you know, the whole training fight. Um, but yeah, I, I, I full-on think... I think next will be Yang, because it's her kind of, like, learning how to use her arm properly. Um, that kind of thing. I am not sure if we're going to see the whole, the whole like, build-up of her getting used to the arm and, like, training and everything. But I feel like we're gonna jump in parts to part, like like jump into how it starts, and then jump in later, like in a few days or a month or however long the time period skips are, um, to see how she's progressing, and then once again to like how she's like, you know, Taeyang's like, you're ready, <laughs> kind of like. So um, I think that's what's gonna happen next is either Blake or Yang is gonna show up, um, in the next chapter and kind of show what they're doing like Blake chasing after the White Fang, Yang training, um, maybe maybe a bit of Weiss trying to summon um, but I think the and hopefully I was, I was gonna say um, it looks like Ruby's team's done but no <laughs> they're still on their way um, to Haven and Crow's hurt so maybe that's next episode as well like helping Crow basically um, and hearing him explain the whole situation to the, to Team Ranger, so much could happen, <laughs> but I'm excited, and I can't wait to see what's happening, so, um, I'm gonna do a cut here, um, and we'll, I'll, I'll come back and, um, talk about the episode in depth, if there's anything really to talk about, um, if not, then I might just end it right here, because, like, I did kind of talk about everything I wanted to talk about, really, but if, if, like I said, I'm gonna watch it, watch it a couple more times, um, kind of digest the entire episode, um, and if there's anything else to talk about, I will be jumping back in, in here, 
to talk about it. Um, but if not, then the video is still going to end here. So, yeah. Whichever one I decide to do, <laughs> I will see you in a second. Um, or next week. Who knows? I'll see you later. <laughs> see ya.